Hey y'all, so like, funny story, actually not really funny, more like painful, anyways, so I was literally just like minding my own business, I was formatting my card so I could, you know, film this video, right? And then so I was casually just doing that because like my PC is like on the, the floor, I was doing this, right? Then like, I have a freaking bunk bed. See, like, that's my bunk bed right there. Now, I did ass hit myself off that, that metal pole right there. And I was literally just doing, like, my psychology homework, and I was learning about the brain and how, like, brain damage and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I freaking bunked my head, like... <laughs> Hello! Welcome to Freaky Haired Girl makes a video about something that would probably be talked about like literally like 10 years ago when YouTube was like old and like it was just very simple and you could do all these like cute little montage videos of you talking over it with a voiceover and then it gets like a million views but that's probably not gonna happen but that's okay because I'm here to help anywho hey y'all my name's Kawaii Geek here and I am very excited to bring you guys a video of me basically show you guys what I kind of do to do online school and dead ass y'all like you know Cardi B is like speaking some facts because right now this um Paris. is literally just it, it's making everything whack and like you know school is going to be kind of like weird so I'm going to just show y'all what I kind of do to like cope with that and to kind of manage my time and like organize like what's in here also can we just talk about how cute this shirt is like I freaking love it I literally got it off um, I got it off of Redbubble and it's literally like the cutest thing ever and I freaking love it. I don't really have much else to say, so let's just go. Let's just go. Hey y'all, so the first thing I kind of really do is I get ready in the morning as if I was going to actual school. So that means I would probably get up, do my morning routine, take a shower, you know, do that kind of stuff. Um, and usually I'll just put on some makeup and maybe even put on a cute outfit just so I'm kind of feeling like I'm not just staying home and it's, you know I don't really want to feel like I want to go to bed because I have to stay awake and I have a problem of just like wanting to sleep all day so this definitely helps out um, also I kind of feel really cute and like if I wanted to go out then you know I don't have to put all the effort in get, getting ready you know Okay, so the next thing I kind of do, um, this is very important, so everyone stresses this, but I'm gonna stress it again. Always check your syllabus for, like, all the dates and stuff, and, um, basically after I did that, I just wrote out a whole list, and eventually I just made a Google Doc, and it basically just has all the dates I need to know for the whole year, so you can see there's the class there, then I also have a section for the assignments or tests that I need to know of, and I also have the due date. And basically the way it works is I gray out whatever dates I've finished. So for example, you can see here, sociology and psychology, I've kind of gotten semi-done, whereas um, down here is all white because I haven't gotten to those dates yet, as you can see. This just kind of helps me to see how my progress is, and it's just kind of easier to have a whole visual in one spot, you know? Okay, so another thing I kind of do is I use the phone calendar. Um, so as you can see here, I have a whole whack of different things written down for each month. I've probably been doing this uh, since high school even. So um, for example, if you look here on Wednesday, I have sociology from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, another example is Thursday, which is my busiest day. I have all these different classes, so I kind of just keep track by writing them down. Um, since I bring my phone everywhere, I can easily just pull it out and be like, okay, I have this on that day. Um, I know this is out of focus, but I even write down things like my dad's birthday. Uh, I also write down the times that I work, so I kind of have everything all in one spot. So you see there I work 7.30 to 3.30. Um, I also write down little tasks as well. I literally stand by this. My phone has literally been my lifesaver since I've been using this calendar. It got me through all of high school and I'm pretty sure it's gonna get me through all of first year and so on. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, yeah, definitely recommend. Okay, so now that I've showed you guys what I've done yearly, I'm gonna show you how I manage my time monthly. So I got a whiteboard from Walmart and it basically just has all the dates catered toward that specific month. So that's September right there. And usually when I'm done each thing, I will put a green check mark next to it as you can see that I am what I'm doing here. Um, and since September's over, it's now October as I am recording this, I am just gonna be erasing September and I'm gonna be replacing it with October. And then I'm just going to be taking all the previous dates, all the past dates, and replacing them with new ones. Um, also on the left hand side you can see I have psychology, and then I have sociology, child and youth studies, philosophy, and a s that's supposed to say astronomy, let's pretend it does. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go and write down everything that's due within that month, 
so for October I have a whole whack of tests just saying I'm gonna be stressed out but uh, yeah you can see here I'm just replacing all the dates with new ones oh and so I did run into a little bit of an error here so I basically realized that sociology has a lot more stuff due than all the other classes so I had to shift everything down in order to fit everything so this is me doing that now um, but this is a good strategy if you have a whiteboard and you decide to do this too, is that you can just um, leave more room for the classes that you have more things due in, that way you can fit everything all on the board. Also, I'm just going to point out now, this is something else I do, uh, everything's written in, in red except for child and youth studies because I don't have anything due that month other than an assignment which is actually due next month, so that's why I wrote that in black as you can see, um, and that's just how I know that I only have the other classes to worry about, if that makes sense, yeah. Also, big props to me for writing astronomy and not astrology that time, so uh, yeah, good job me. <laughs> okay, so I went through my yearly plan and my monthly plan, so what about my day plan? Well, so I usually grab just any kind of scrap piece of paper and I write down the date and then I write down each task along with um, how long I'm going to be spending on each task. So I'll be writing probably the hours that I'll be working and then I'll just have a little box toward the side with, um, well that, that would be where I would put like the check marks. Anyways, the reason I do this is so I can prevent myself from procrastinating or at least lessen the probability of me procrastinating. Um, it also allows me to give each of my classes a little bit of attention just so I'm not focusing on only one class like the entire day. I kind of split up my time so I have time for all of my classes. Okay, and as you can see here, this is what it looks like. So for example, there's my psychology assignment and this would be from 7am to 9am. That's when I'd work on it and underneath I have my other stuff that I have to do. Um, usually I'll just take a blue pen or any other colored pen and I'll just check off everything as the hours pass by. Okay, and here's just another real life example from today actually when I'm filming this. So I already watched Netflix, I already did my sociology notes, now I'm filming the video as you can tell. Um, I'm also going to show you down here, I also kind of cater it towards my daily life so I have to get ready from work between 1.30 to 1.45, I also have a work shift from 2 to 5. Um, as you can see, I have time for my friends, and then I also have time to go out for dinner with my boyfriend, that's from 7 to 10, and then after that, I'll probably just work on astronomy notes, and then eventually, I will just go to bed. <laughs> So another thing I do in relation to this is I usually just set a whole whack of alarms, if that makes sense. So you know how in school or in high school you'd have the bell, it just kind of makes it similar to that and that way I stay on track when working within those um, time locks. So you can see here I just have all my different alarms all the way until 8.20pm. Okay, it's time for bonus items. So this is my binder. I keep my school schedule on it. As you can see here, I've labeled Monday all the way to Saturday, and then I have all of the times on the left-hand side. Um, so yeah, this just shows all of the classes that I have and when I have them. Normally my school provides them, but my printer wasn't working, so I had to write everything out. Uh, I decided not to include Sunday in my schedule just because that's my day to myself or to hang out with friends, so I didn't include it. Also, so if you look here, I also have filled in yellow the available times for me to be working. So this basically just represents um, the time that I could possibly be working a shift. So it doesn't have to fill up the entire space, but I will be working in between those hours. It just kind of keeps my life organized and I know when I'm going to be working. Also, any of the spots that are not filled in, such as there, just mean that I don't have anything scheduled during that time. Okay, so second kind of bonus thing is I'm just going to show you guys how I organize my notes. So I just keep all of my syllabuses and and all of my lecture notes in one binder. I use different tabs to separate them. Since lecture notes don't take up a lot of room, I just figured one binder would be fine. As for textbook notes and my own kind of self-written notes, I would just keep those in notebooks. And if I need to travel or bring them anywhere, I just throw everything in one binder and I use the three ring holes to uh, stick to notebooks along with everything else. So also along on the topic of notes and note taking, I would suggest that you would take your um, notes ahead of time, so like before your scheduled lecture, that way the more you repeat the knowledge to yourself and the more you hear it from your prof, the more you're going to be learning and the more you're going to be familiar with something. 
Okay, bonus tip number four. Um, what I do is I set due dates two to three days earlier than they actually really are. So for example, um, I have psychology, like my assignment due on Tuesday, but it's really due on Friday. Um, this just helps in case I procrastinate or I get work shifts or maybe just life will just get in the way. That way, if I am running late on an assignment or something that's due, I won't be freaking out as much and you have wiggle room to kind of finish it. And overall, you would just be ahead of the game, so who wouldn't love that? Okay, so the last and final bonus tip I have is that I use this website called Quizlet. And, and by the way, this is not sponsored, but I use it to study and I really like Quizlet because you get to, it corrects your mistakes as you go and that's proven to help you learn more efficiently as well as um i personally like to use the learn feature which is a lot like a test so you would have to type in your answers or let's say you didn't know um there's an option to hit i don't know and then it'll tell you what the answer is and it'll tell you to study that one it'll also give you an option to override in case you did have it right like let's say you spelled it wrong you can just override it and say you were right and then it'll put that in as something you are familiar or you know well another feature i really like is playing the match game if i have a lot of terms that i need to know so for example um you know the unit one for psychology in university there's a whole lot of terms i need to know so this definitely helps so you can see here i'm just playing the match game and you just drag them together and you can just match them as you go and it's like game so it makes it a lot more fun okay y'all i hope you guys enjoyed that video i'm probably not in focus but like i'm kind of over it at this point um i really hope you guys enjoyed that and i hope it's helpful and comment down below if you like you know want more kind of like videos like this like this is gonna be kind of my first video unless i decide to do an intro video if you did enjoy it give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and whatever else youtubers say turn on the bell notifications i guess i don't know okay see y'all later bye